Today, we are talking about how to configure IPv6 address. You can configure it either manually or automatically. With manual configuration, you need to manually configure the IPv6 address, DNS, and the prefix of a terminal in a static way, just like what we do with the IPv4. Manually configuring IPv6 addresses is complex. 128-bit IPv6 address is four times longer than IPv4 address. Thus, users are advised to choose automatic configuration if it is possible. Automatic configuration is classified into two types, stateless address method and DHCP v6 method. Stateless address method is also called SLAAC. However, DHCP v6 method can also be classified as either stateless or stateful address auto configuration. When terminal uses stateless address auto configuration, the interface's ID of its IPv6 address is automatically calculated and generated by the terminal itself. In the meanwhile, its network prefix and the DNS parameters are generated by the gateway and sent to the terminal through RA messages. When the terminal uses DHCPv6 stateless address auto configuration, the IPv6 address is generated by itself in a stateless way. The prefix and the DNS parameters are configured by the DHCPv6 server. When the terminal uses DHCPv6 stateful address auto configuration, the DHCPv6 server allocates the IPv6 address, prefix, and the DNS parameters to it. Here, we introduce one of the most in DHCPv6 stateful address auto configuration, which is DHCPv6 EUI64. When a terminal uses this mode, the DHCPv6 server calculates the interface ID of the terminal's IPv6 address based on the terminal's MAC address. Then it generates the IPv6 address of the terminal based on the locally configured network prefix on DHCPv6 server. After that, it allocates the IPv6 address to the terminal. For now, the Android operating system does not support this DHCPv6 address auto configuration mode. When terminals with Android OS exist on the network, we need to use stateless address auto configuration. Earlier, we mentioned a specification called EUI64. This specification describes how to convert the MAC address of a terminal into the interface ID of its IPv6 address. A MAC address is comprised of 48 bits. The first 24 bits indicate the vendor identifier of the terminal, and the last 24 bits indicate the extension identifier of the terminal. According to the EUI64 specification, FFFE is inserted between the two groups of 24 bits, forming a 64-bit string of characters. Then, the seventh bit in descending order is changed from 0 to 1, generating a 64-bit interface ID. Finally, the interface ID and the 64-bit prefix form a 128-bit IPv6 address for the terminal. This is how EUI64 converts the MAC address of the terminal into the interface ID of its IPv6 address. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.